Another exciting year of baseball instruction just ended, and it's time for my favorite hitting drill of the year. As usual, the competition was fierce, but the top drill solved more issues than any other drill I used, and most importantly, it solved the biggest problem I see with young hitters. First though, two other drills were considered for the top one. The Adrian Beltre drill got its name from watching him hit the ball out of the park in this manner. The drop the back knee drill, as seen here, helps with many aspects of hitting fundamentals. With this drill, hitters drop their knee as they swing at the low pitch. That move tells us that they are staying back and beginning their swing with the lower half. Batters who lunge at the ball or start with the upper body have trouble going to the knee immediately. The drill is also excellent for getting a good hip rotation and maintaining good posture with the upper body instead of collapsing their backside trying to get to the knee high pitch. Finally, it keeps the player's head under control as it cannot pull off the ball with this drill. The drawback to this drill is that it only works on low pitches and should not be used with live batting practice because it could compromise players getting out of the way of balls. The other drill that got honorable mention was the top arm swings done in this manner. The batter chokes up on the bat and holds their top forearm with their other hand. In this way, players do not separate their top arm from their body and it also doesn't put a lot of strain on the top arm. Hitters should allow their hips to initiate the swing until firing the top hand through the ball. As for the hitting drill of the year, it is simple and good for batting practice and even in games when nothing else works. Batters simply set their forearms below the letters against their body and parallel to the ground. After the stride, they swing from this position. This move creates as compact of a swing as can be, which is the point of the drill. Batters do not add distance to the swing and it forces them to use the small muscles of the hands, wrist, and forearms, along with the hips, to produce the bat speed. Batters can still prepare to swing by shifting their weight to the back side and by closing their front shoulder slightly before swinging. There is little room for error and hitters square many balls up in this manner. This is a great drill for hitters with long arm swings and most important, it is one of the only ways of solving the batters to push the knob out before swinging, which leads to a number of other hitting flaws. After a while, longer for some than others because muscle memory takes time to change, I have batters begin to take the bat back and up to a good taller spot and see if their original problem disappeared. In time, this simple action helps incorrect swing paths and builds up strength in the smaller muscles. Hope to see you over at my website www.baseballcoachingtips.net for more great coaching information and for my soon to start step-by-step -step hitting class.